Hello everyone, welcome to my Sunday thrifting video. My name is Pam and today we are visiting the local Goodwill stores in my area of Columbia, South Carolina. I shop several days during the week because sometimes I find amazing treasures and some shopping trips are a dud. While you're here, I'd love it if you would like this video and leave me a comment. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel because over the summer, I will be releasing more thrifting videos throughout the week and you do not want to miss out. So let's get down to the fun. Go grab your coffee, go grab your tea, and let's go shopping. I found this brass and glass jewelry box. I love that it has that piece of agate on top and that it's finished off with that gold around the edges. This is such a cute box. It's beveled on top, it has that mirror, and I think it'd be a great gift. These two pieces looked like little oil lamps to me. And then I noticed this teacup and saucer. It was so pretty and so delicate looking. It was made by Teleflora. Then I saw this pumpkin candle. It was made by Target's Threshold brand and the fragrance was called Pumpkin Spice. I bet that smelled delicious. Then right next to it, I saw this beautiful pedestal dish. It's a bowl that I'm sure is more of a candy bowl. It had that ruby red coloring to it. I'm sure it was crystal. It was quite beautiful, but totally not my style. This was a little bit more my style, but I wasn't fond of the ropes around it. This looked like a piece that you would find in just a regular retail store maybe. It seemed very common. This was a fun platter. I love the sunshine and that face is great. It was made in India and I thought it should have been heavier, but it wasn't very heavy at all. These plates, I felt like I've seen them at a Goodwill in Camden not too long ago. These are the same style plates, but they were a little bit different. This bar set was interesting. It looks as if it's all packed together in there, a decanter and some type of glasses. And I found this piece of transferware. It had a beautiful picture on the front. That blue and white is really in. Unfortunately, that piece had a crack. And then I noticed this brass bud vase in the back here. I like the shape of this one. It was so different from what you normally see with brass pieces. These were fun. I believe these may have been stainless steel stirring sticks. I like the festive Santa Claus head on top. Let me take a look at this Mother Mary. She actually looks more like a ceramics project. Not bad. This china is so lovely. I love that it has the fall colors on it. And you can clearly see the bottom where it is made in Germany. It's the Winterling Bavaria China. 
I thought it was so beautiful. This would be great for your Thanksgiving table. And then right next to it was this condiment Tupperware caddy, and I thought it was pretty fantastic. Although Tupperware doesn't sell very well for me, I left that one behind. I like this wooden piece. It's an elephant and I decided I would not get this because it was a little loose and I didn't feel like dealing with that. However, I did love this piece here, this brass and glass tray. I thought it was quite beautiful and could be used anywhere around my home. This lamp reminded me of those Tiffany style lamps. This one had a little piece missing from it. Some of the glass was gone, so I had to leave this one behind. I thought I was recording here. Instead, I just snapped a picture of that cute little snowman, and this looks like it should be Ray done, but it's not. I thought I'd give these candlesticks, I guess they're candlesticks. I'm not sure, what are these called? Anyway, I thought I'd give them a look-see. I liked that they were made out of mercury glass and they were very pretty. And of course, this little angel was so sweet. Turns out she was a bell. I thought this was such a pretty vase. Unfortunately, it had crazing and those dark areas all over it. I have no idea what this instrument is called, but it was absolutely adorable. The strings were all mangled and it was so sweet looking. Wouldn't this be great for holiday decor? It has those colors, doesn't it? Let me know if you know what this is called down in the comments below. I would really love to know. Hey, I found a foo dog. Unfortunately, this foo dog was made out of resin and it had some chipped places underneath, as you can see there, those white areas. Since these were not high quality pieces, I decided to leave them behind. I found a spring bunny and her cabbage bowl. This was a cute piece. It was $4.99, which I thought was a little expensive. And then what is this? What is that for? If you know what that piece is for, should it have been in a doctor's office? I'm not quite sure. Let me know down in the comments below. I found this pretty popular wheat pattern china. This is a cute little set. I found the sugar dish and the creamer, as well as some plates and saucers, salad plates. It wasn't a complete set, but if you're young and starting out in an apartment, this would be a great set to have. This was a fun piece. I like this cute little wall decor of these pears, and I wish I would have noticed that beveled mirror in the back. That would have been great for displaying something in my booth. 
This was a lovely, lovely figurine. Unfortunately, she's lost her hand and a piece of her cape. She was a resin piece, and although she was lovely, she needed to stay behind. These two pieces were interesting to me, but what exactly are they? It looks like at the top they have hooks. Are they supposed to hang from something? There's a little string tied to it. Let me know if you know what those pieces are supposed to be used for. And then I saw this gorgeous brass ginger jar. Now, I'm not a fan of ginger jars. I just don't feel like they sell well for me. So I did leave that one behind. And then I saw this cute little jewelry box. It was made with that lacquer finish. I like this sugar and creamer set, but it was modern. I bet it came from somewhere like World Market, which is one of my favorite stores. Unfortunately, it was missing the lid there on the sugar dish, but this is totally my style. And then I saw this Thomas Kincaid beautiful teapot. Look at the gold spout and that gold handle. So beautiful, just his classic pictures there. It's just such a lovely teapot. Ooh, I'm in brass heaven right now. I see those quail. You see them everywhere in antique stores. You also see the duck heads in the back, but this brass swan, absolutely gorgeous. And there's another one. There's a pair. I'm so excited. They are gorgeous. $5.95 and we have $4.95. Can you guess if they're coming home with me? I almost missed this lamp. This was my second go around in the store and it wasn't here on the first trip around. So I'm pretty glad that I went around a second time. Make sure you do that when you head into Goodwill. Don't just go around one time. You have to go back, especially if they're putting out new merchandise. And check out this little dog. So, so cute. I would have picked this one up but it had lots of little flea bites and chips. The first piece I picked up that I would like to share with you is this adorable snowman Christmas ornament. It is made by Linux, and I plan on keeping this and selling it in my booth during Christmas time. Next, I picked up both Swan. They are made out of brass. They're absolutely gorgeous. I believe they may be planters, but they are great as just decor on their own. I do plan on selling these in my booth and I'm pretty excited about it. Next, I picked up the brass and glass hexagon shaped trinket dish. This is a great dish. It can be used for so many different things. You can place your jewelry in it. Uh, you can also use it for displaying certain items that you may have in your antique booth. So I'm not sure if I want to keep this one at home or use it in my booth. Stay tuned. This brass bud vase is absolutely stunning. I do have to sell it though. I can't keep everything y'all, even though I wish I could. So I am going to be placing this one in my booth to sell. Sorry for the lousy picture, but I did forget to take a picture of this gorgeous lamp before I placed it in my booth to sell. It is a Tiffany style lamp. It has that 
beautiful dragonfly. You know, it's a soft lamp. It doesn't shine so bright that you could use it as just the only light in the room. So it's more just like a little side table lamp or even you could use it as a night lamp. Finally, I picked up this brass and glass jewelry box. It has that sliced piece of agate on top with that gold trim around it. It's really beautiful. It has that mirrored bottom and it is just a great piece to keep on your dresser. Keep all of your beautiful rings and jewelry and earrings. I just think this is a great piece and it is already in my booth to sell. And there you have it, folks. That will be the end of my shopping trip and haul today. Hey, thanks for going with me. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment below. And until next time, my friends, bye-bye.